What is up you guys? Welcome back. I'm here to recap the Fall Classic. Game one, the first run of this Fall Classic came in the middle innings. Thanks to a sack fly from the Dodgers' Will Smith that scored Kike Hernandez. But just a half inning later, Giancarlo Stanton sent this moonshot to left, giving the Yankees their first lead of the series 2-1. Now LA got their second run via a sack fly. This time it came off the bat of bets, tying the game 2-2. Now despite this late run rally, the New York kid Anthony Volpe was able to come through with a productive force out to short stop with runners on the corners. This allowed Jazz Chisholm to score and secured a Yankees wait, wait, hold up, wait a minute, Freddie Freeman sent everybody home happy in LA and sad in New York with one big swing of his stick. Yes, Freddie Freeman with his Gibby, I mean uh, Gimpy, sorry, Gimpy ankle sent a two out walk off Grand Slam over the right field wall and into the bleachers to end game one and a 6-3 Dodgers victory. Now moving over to game two, the NLCS MVP Tommy Edmond kept his power stroke going as he popped a long ball over the wall in the second to start the scoring. Now despite Juan Soto taking Yamamoto deep in the third to tie the game 1-1, one one, the Japanese import was rock solid the rest of the way. The righty only gave up one hit, one run, on that lone swing from Juan Soto, walked to and sat down four men via the strikeout. Now the Dodgers quickly responded with long balls of their own a half inning later. Teoscar Hernandez and Freddie Freeman went back to back to stake the Dodgers out to a 4-1 to lead which secured them a victory and a 2 to nothing series lead. Now let's move over to game number three. Who else but Freddie Freeman got the fire started as he shot a first inning two run bomb over the short porch in right. This was his third homer of the series. Then a pair of singles from Betts in the third and Kike Hernandez in the sixth gave the boys in blue a four to nothing advantage. Now despite some late inning fireworks from Alex Verdugo who cranked this ball out of the park to trim the Dodgers lead in half, LA still prevailed, winning this game 4-2, leaving them just one win shy of their eighth championship. Now, no, 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 this isn't a replay from game number three. Freddie Freeman literally made all of us have deja vu as he sent yet another first inning two-run bomb out of the park to right field to start the game. Now, Anthony Volpe wasn't going to let his boyhood team get swept that easily, and he did some quick editing of the World Series script as he golfed this ball over the left field wall for a grand slam. This gave New York a three run lead. Now LA tried to curl their way back on this Will Smith home run and Freddie Freeman legging out this double play ball which allowed Tommy Edmond to score, making it a five to four New York affair. Now although the Dodgers put up a valiant effort to come back in this contest, New York squandered any hope the Dodgers had by flexing their muscles and letting their heavy hitters feast. Home runs from Austin Wells in the sixth and Glaber Torres in the eighth, along with an Aaron Judge single that plated Juan Soto, secured a game four 11 to 4 victory for the Yankees, their first World Series win since 2009, and kept them alive in this series. Now, I know this might come as a shock, but game five started with a first inning home run from a heavy hitter. Yeah, you guessed it. Aaron Judge. Yeah, he actually found his power stroke in this series. The captain popped a two-run shot the opposite way. Then a batter later, Jazz Chisholm also sent a ball deep to right field, giving New York a 3 to nothing lead in the first. Now, the Yankees MVP of this year's postseason, Giancarlo Stanton, made it a 5 to nothing Yankees lead as he sent his seventh home run of the postseason and his second long ball of this series the opposite way. Now, one would think a five-run lead by the great New York Yankees would be enough, right? Right? No, wrong! Because this year's Dodgers are built different and they showed it by plastering five runs in the fifth, thanks to a Mookie Betts ground ball single, a Freddie Freeman shot to center field that scored Betts, and a double over Aaron Judge's head in center to bring home Betts and Freeman. Now it seems Giancarlo Stanton was the only Yankee who was truly trying to win this series. 
because a sack fly from him in the sixth gave New York back the lead. Unfortunately for the Yankee faithful, the World Series isn't a one-man show, and the Dodgers understood the assignment because a pair of sacrifice flies from Gavin Lux and Mookie Betts in the eighth gave LA a two-run advantage going into the ninth. Now Walker Buehler came out of the pen and shut down the Yankees for the final time in 2024 by having Anthony Volpe ground out to third and fanning Wells and Verdugo to capture the Dodgers eighth world championship and first full season crown since 1988. So congratulations to the LA Dodgers on a fantastic year, the best team in baseball, no buts about it, overcame adversity, first year of Otani, he got you that championship and you're looking for many, many more, but enjoy this one Dodger fans as you are the new champions of the baseball world.